Hi guys, welcome back. This is Srikanth here. Today in this session, we will be talking about locks. So what is lock basically? Have you heard this term elsewhere? Yes. So basically locking is something like uh, to unblock the access of others. That will be exclusively for the one who has a lock. Right? So locking is very important concept as a DBA, as a developer to understand it okay uh, you know you know we store the data in sql server through tables and tables are internally have the rows and you know table are stored within you know, pages and pages then form the extends okay so there are the log hierarchy basically right okay we'll talking uh, we'll be talking about all those kind of locking so first of all we can see uh, the resources on what resources locks can be placed so lock can lock lock can be placed on the pages it can be placed on the extent it can be placed on a table it can be placed on the row it can be placed on a partitions right so these are there are different resources on which the lock can be placed right so the lowest level of law of resources is a row row right So these are the resources on which the lock can be placed. Okay, great. So there are a lot. There are different type of locks we have in a SQL Server. So type of locks. Shared lock. Yes. Next is update lock. then exclusive log shared log update log exclusive log then there are few log also intent logs so intent log we'll talk about that next is schema log okay so basically these are the different kinds of log share log whenever we do a some uh, select command on a sql server engine that time a one kind of log will be placed on the table right so that log is a share log so i can say if i'm querying data from database with a select command the log will be placed on that table and the, that log is a share log that log is a minimum log so other can count concurrently and access the data right? update log is just uh, the log when we fetch the data from a respective table that time share log will be placed right so after that if after that it tries to find out a specific row that time update log will be placed here whenever we do update or delete that time this log will be placed so once we have the update log on a table that update log will only be converted to the exclusive log the very important thing is that if there is an exclusive log on any object no other resources can access it so that is exclusive so intent logs are the logs which are the uh, logs which basically form the log hierarchy right uh, for example i have the log on the row so above row there is a table above table there is a pages right above page there is extreme so this kind of hierarchy on the uh, on the resources we can see through the intent log so you might see like ix ix right L the logs which start with i next is schema log schema log are the logs 